Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, my colleague, uh, Cabinet Secretary of Education, uh, PSS Education and uh, Youth, uh, the Chair of the President's Award, my friend Father Dominic Wamukunda, who was that young even when we were in the university. He was still that young. Um, the CEO of the President's Award and the Board, um, the heads of institutions here, Your Excellency, this is a program properly delivered by various institutions, both private and public. And I have seen vice chancellors from public universities, from private, private universities, our correctional institution, and other uh, government institutions, our, our deeds of the Gold Award. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning once more. Your Excellency, before I invite you, I will be, let me, let me, let me say one or two things. One is, Your Excellency, I will, I'd like to thank, use this opportunity to thank Madam Nelly Mulanda. Yeah, please. This lady, Your Excellency, just retired from the institution, and she is actually, these are our fruits the fruits of our labor. This is our work. And uh, we use this occasion to say thank you, Madam, for the good job you've done over time and uh, look forward to working with you also in other different capacities and you continuing to give uh, support to the incoming CEO. Your Excellency, we have completed the process of getting an, a new CEO and she will be reporting to office, I think, in a week or two. So I would, like, I would like to thank Maria Virgen for a job well done and the team after Madam Nelly had retired. Thank you very much for a good job. Um, I also want to thank the PS, Your Excellency, because I am just less than three months in the ministry. The PS Youth, uh, Ismail, please uh, thank you very much for the job well done and the team in the ministry for working to ensure that this uh, uh, program is well managed. Your Excellency, this is a program that is largely delivered in our secondary schools and, uh, and, uh, and the universities and colleges. So these are actually education institutions. Ordinarily and previously this was domained in the Ministry of Education. And so this is a working um, partnership between our ministry and the Ministry of Education. And so before I just say my last two or so remarks, let me take this opportunity to invite my colleague, uh, Honorable uh, Migos, to come and make a few remarks with the Minister of Education, P.K.A. Makofi. Thank you, thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, my colleague, Cabinet Secretary, Minister for Youth and Creative Affairs, distinguished guests, all the awardees present, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, it is a great honor and privilege to join you on this important occasion. The importance of this occasion is not just in recognizing and awarding our outstanding young people for their achievements, but also in acknowledging and appreciating that through their achievements, they have positively impacted their society as we've seen here today. The young people that you are awarding today have set an example for many others in the country and indeed across the world. The achievements have set the standards for others to emulate. The primary lesson for our youth through these awards is that learning and achievement extend beyond formal education. Education is about the holistic growth and development of the individual. These holistic skills and competencies are what our youth require to thrive in the 21st world. As a matter of fact, the reforms that we are undertaking in the education sector through the implementation of the competency-based curriculum and competency-based education and training in our TVETs seek to achieve this. May I take this opportunity, Your Excellency, to congratulate all the awardees and to wish them 
all the best in their future endeavors. I am confident that the lessons that they have learned and the experiences that they have gained will prove beneficial to them and to the nation at large. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, if you look at this program, it's extremely impactful. And um, if I was to ask you how much does it cost the President's Award Institution to deliver this program, Your Excellency, the total budget of this institution is 35 million shillings. Uh, and, and that budget, Your Excellency, um, just covers the monuments of the staff of the institution. Previously, it was 70 million, but because of the austerity measures, it came to that amount. If we need to reach the other corners of the country, Your Excellency, I think we want to request you, and uh, through you, through our parliament, to, make, to enhance, just a small enhancement of the budget of these institutions can, have, can produce more of these wonderful young people across the country, so that it gives them an opportunity across the country. Your Excellency, uh, like uh, was said by Malimu when he spoke here, um, this certificate that to the level of gold is such a very premium certificate. And I think it's important to find ways through Public Service Commission that this certificate is given premium recognition when getting an opportunity for persons to be hired to public service. The, the award also, uh, Your Excellency, gives us an opportunity to shape our young people. At 14 to 24 is extremely a critical period in somebody's life. In fact, this is the best time to shape uh, properly young people across the country. This President's Award is doing a fantastic job to shape our young people to focus not just in terms of getting jobs but also having values. And the values that they get, as you saw the testimonies that were here, are going to have a greater impact in our country. Lastly, Your Excellency, the, the thing I'd like to request is that, and we have agreed with my, with my colleagues here at uh, Ogamba, that we would like to have a very close partnership between the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the Ministry of Education. Because, Your Excellency, if we are achieving universal um, education, coverage of education across the country. It means that the constituencies that we largely serve are in the schools. Schools are the best nurseries for talent. Our children who are starting their game today, our girls who are playing in the uh, Dominican Republic in the World Cup for the first time, were picked largely from secondary school education and from the secondary school games. So schools as a ministry, we would like to have that close collaboration. We have agreed on how we will work together on youth issues and sports issues to make sure that the right place for us to make interventions on young people remains in our primary schools, our secondary schools, our colleges, and the universities. I'd like to challenge the professors who are here, Your Excellency, particularly the vice chancellors. I am speaking as a former student, but more importantly, as a former teacher at the university. There is a missing link between what happens in primary and secondary and what happens at the universities. You ask yourself, Your Excellency, for example, we grow talent in high school. And when it's done, there is no, there are very few institutions in the country, particularly the universities, that have a deliberate scheme to ensure that they track these talented people and young people and deliberately give them opportunities to enhance their talent in the university. You ask yourself, how come none of our universities in the country since independence has produced a gold medalist, yet this is a country of athletics? When you go to Olympics, all the gold medalists of other countries, US, Europe, are in the university and colleges, and they are picked from the university. We would like to challenge our universities and our university professors to go and rethink of clear ways of giving scholarships to young, talented people to enhance their talent 
and programs, whether it is in music, whether it is in sports, to continue at the university level. So that then we can find ways, we can deliberately find ways through Sports Fund of asking ourselves, which universities can we have interventions in terms of supporting talent? And we can rank our universities not just by academic and theoretical performance. We can rank our universities by showing how many of them are doing well in music, how many are doing them in sports, how many are doing well in creative arts. And then that award goes together with what my colleague says when we deal with the CBC curriculum that we are implementing. Your Excellency, that if we do that, we will sort out this problem of employment of many young people and we will make sports a more lucrative venture. We will even change the academies we are building now, not to other places. We will build them in the universities because we know it will be utilized to grow talent across the country. Your Excellency, with those remarks, it is now my greatest honor and pleasure to invite you as the patron of the President's Award and the President and the Commander-in-Chief to come and award these young people and also give them a word of encouragement. Welcome, Your Excellency.